hey guys so this video is i have been trying out this device from nokia so this one is nokia's nokia x7 and this device released back in 2011 this one is mid-range from from nokia but basically i wanted to try this out because of its shape and the way it looks actually so under the hood it's still running symbian os as all other nokia devices and but interesting part of this device actually is that the way it looks it looks pretty nice actually it's pretty good to hold and the build quality is top notch although it is a mid-range device but it the build quality is top notch and as you can see here it got metal body and the bezels here are actually pretty symmetrical as you can see in the front this device got actually stereo speakers but not like both sides they are here actually two of the speakers the main part of this device actually is display it got a 4 inch amoled panel as you can see here and the display does look pretty good even even today's standard it is pretty sharp and works pretty well actually i have been using this device for a few days and trying out everything and this device is pretty interesting actually although it was a like mid-range device so the specs of this device actually it got everything like wi-fi bluetooth and also 3g and also it got 256 mb of ram and one gig of internal storage but when i checked one gig of internal storage i could not able to find one gig so as you can see here uh, we got only 122 mb of internal storage and also i put an sd card here as you can see here which is 8 gigabyte sd card i don't really know according to the specs it should get one gig of internal storage but it's not there and also it got like 600 megahertz processor which does handle everything pretty well actually but the interesting part of this device actually it's its display and the way it looks uh, it also looks pretty similar to balmuda phone which released um, in maybe few years ago it does look pretty similar to that and also one more thing i like about this device is that the way sim tray and sd card tray there so if you want to open like sim tray you have to press here there is a dot here you just press here and grab grab it and you can pull it out so it's pretty beautifully designed sim tray actually and i think it's much better than having like pin and other things um if you know about nokia n8 and other devices they used to have some sort of flap to cover up the sim tray and they always you will see them they always break and also you will not most of the like if you buy most of the second hand phone they don't really have that those flaps because they always like get breaks this kind of one actually this this design is pretty good i say pretty good this one and also it is fully metal built so as you can see here it's fully metal and it works like it's very st sturdy and it's also pretty flush with the body as you can see here it's flush with the body so that design is top notch here and the build quality is also top notch so what you can do with this device if you get one of these actually nothing much you can do but the basic things what you want from a device you can do still like phone calls and messaging it still works here maybe in european countries it will not work but asian countries is still working and also you can do few other things like if i connect to the wi-fi as, as i said it does support wi-fi so let me connect to my wi-fi so the wi-fi is connected now we can see a few other things as i said phone call and messaging are working perfectly fine and also i have installed opera mini here so as this device is not really jelly broken or i haven't like installed any kind of hacked firmware so it is having few issues like when i am trying to install any application like i am having certificate issue but i have installed opera mini 4 here and also opera mini 8 unsigned version of them and those are working perfectly fine and also i have installed few other things i have installed jtube here so as you know jtube is uh, a client for symbian devices to watch youtube so if i press jtube and surprisingly jtube is working and you can watch youtube videos here even my videos also so as you can see it loaded now if i search ncs ncs and let me try and see yes and also one more thing about this device it got stereo speakers so stereo speakers are located here not here and here so that's different 
and the speaker sounds pretty good actually now this device can play actually 720p videos directly from youtube but the issue is that it cannot like load the 720p video it is struggle a lot so now if i play this one maybe it is in 360p now so it is working i hope you can hear and that's so the sound is pretty good actually and if i go back maybe it is like 720p yes 720p so you can watch 720p videos with this device without any kind of issue if you install jtube rather than that you can browse internet actually so if you install opera mini like i'm using opera mini 8 now and As you can see it's open pretty fast and if I try to use Facebook ah yes I can do that too and also I can install uh, games and other things the main thing is that if you really want to use this device maybe it will be better to flash a custom firmware for this there are daylight firmware for this which is a custom firmware and it works pretty well because it's debloated and also it come with stored so you can install application from there it it works pretty well but i'm not going to do that because i already have few devices running on the light os and another thing i have to talk about this device is that its camera the camera it got its 8 megapixel uh, fixed focus camera with dual flash the flash is pretty good but the camera is not really that great i did take few photos actually as you can see there is no autofocus and also unfortunately uh, the camera shutter button although it can click properly but it doesn't work and few other things are not working in, with this device actually like auto rotation is not working for some reason as you can see here the auto rotation is not working the shutter button is not working i don't really know why maybe it's a firmware issue uh, or something else i don't really know so i did take few pictures and let me show you maybe yeah gallery is here so, yes as you can see here the pictures yeah it, it is not rotating as you can see here so the picture does come out like pretty good but it's not really that great for a 8 megapixel camera but it does look pretty sharp so as you can see i did take few pictures this this only so the device is working pretty well for the basic use it's still usable the music experience is pretty good as you can see here it got 3.5 mm headphone jack and also it got micro usb port like there, there is no barrel port to charge this device you have to use micro usb port and everything is here and it does looks pretty well and if you have like any experience with this device let me know in the comment section below i just trying this device out it is pretty like damn good device and it works pretty well it's still working pretty well so that's all about nokia's nokia x7 pretty good looking device i would say so that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time